Alright, you guys. Well, it's the first time having her out since uh, fixing her up there the other day, getting the speed controller going in again. Took old Greeny out here, got him washed up this morning, but not a perfect job. So, anyhow, I'm planning on going to the mailbox. I figured uh, take this guy along for a rip. Plenty of water, in my opinion, <laughs> from our uh, Canada Day run and rain and everything. So I figured uh, take him for a drive. I haven't done anything for Indian stuff yet, though. Still completely stock. Should make sure to put the waterproof uh, or the water sealed tires on. There's a little bit of mud, some water. It's just a Hobby King ESC in there right now for a buff motor. Trying to kind of keep her next to the land in case she does burn out. Brought an extra battery too because it's still the same battery from last time. Oh, that's fairly deep. I definitely gotta get another opinion in there, I gotta get some more speed. Well, Park Avenue hasn't gone anywhere since the uh, last video either. I would have thought much street would be this off in the mud on. <laughs> oh. Making her slowly to the mailbox. Just gentle enough I could have brought the trailer. <laughs> I do pretty good. Yeah, uh, the sounds of summer. Looks like I'm uh they about the right time there. Looks like they're loading mailboxes now. Pretty soon that's what every Canadian's gonna have as they cut Canada Post's funding. Ooh, grass. <laughs> Don't need that stuck on everywhere underneath. I think maybe one more water spot, and that's it. Just one thing about it being geared so far down there is that batteries last forever. Uh, I guess the 
there is one more water spot that's on the other side of the road. all this rain too, there's a lot of wet muddy spots out of work, but I don't like the mud up there, it's all clay. It's a real mess. Here, let's just get out here. Clean up some tires. Uh, hobby thing you see does have a, uh, does come two cell ready and has its own lipo cutoff. You can tell because it just doesn't go anywhere and steering still works though. So here we are, community mailboxes. Oh, well, there we go, got the mail, one whole letter. Talk with the neighbors a bit. And away we go back again. Now it's time to go home. So I've seen somebody posted today on the Axial Rock Crawler Facebook group thing there. It's massive, you can't miss it if you try looking for it. Uh, they snapped that, uh, trigger off the remote. I don't know how you snap the trigger off of it, but they did. So apparently 3D printer guys that got on that game, pretty sure the wind's screwing this over now. But the 3D printers are on that and new triggers like five bucks shipped. So it's either that or I think maybe 20 by a whole new radio system. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, the smell of fresh cut grass. You see my tracks from last time. It's awesome. Neighbors kids are coming running out here yet. So, uh, battery has been moved on this. As you see underneath there. Um, when I went down the stairs, actually, I should have recorded that. Kind of did a nosedive and just kind of stood there between the bumper and the front wheels. And then it went down. Huh. Cleared that off without hitting on the diff or anything. Not bad. But yeah, I haven't gone out to crawl crawl yet. Like we were there with Jeff and his son. I guess, uh, his son got the that little, um, what was it, 16 or 18 scale crawler, he got that uh, a little deep. Might have fired the speed controller. Well, that's what you're replacing parts are for. I don't think he ever did anything to it, I think he just drove it as it is. So, uh, he gets a uh, new speed controller and we do the plasti dip treatment to it. Should be okay. I don't know why I'm avoiding the water. <laughs> Diesel. Looks like I'm gonna make it all the way back, no problem.
There's clear water. There's some bird traps and everything. Ooh, that's a little deeper. Steep hill is pretty much underneath where that pump is there at the back now. It's uh, strapped down to the frame, so. It ain't going anywhere. Radio strapped in there, receivers in there with it too. Oh, well, here comes a, another vehicle rut. Hey, Maybe after that one without killing it. Oh, what the heck, we're almost at the end of my street. Neighbors just put the bin out the day after garbage day. Hey, they're making waves. Little wheel spin. Let's go check out the creek. So now we're at the end of the road. That uh, famous pile of the Clodbuster uh, little wire or whatever, that's uh, gone. You can see people have been driving quads and stuff through here. Even though it's not allowed in the city. Down there is quite dry. That whole pile's gone. Neighbor had a little front end loader truck. And uh, a tractor, front end loader truck, sorry. Little John Deere, didn't catch the number. We need to go check that tire over there. And I came down to the end of the street here and stole all the crushed asphalt. Whoop! Just need that. And, uh, I don't know, must have used it for his driveway, but I wish I could say I could do that. Well, 215, 65, 16. Nope, not one of mine or my parents. Yeah, unfortunately, parents live too close to me. Girlfriend tried telling me that. And I just, like, yeah, well, she says the best, totally so. Yeah, dry footprint. Yes, I am wearing dogs because mud. That's why. Big puppies all mean at me. Love the mud. So, one last puddle till we get to the F-150. And away we go. Uh, a couple of you guys are asking about the F-150 and uh, really there's nothing to do for a video on it. It uh, crossed the 46,000 kilometer mark on the truck. Just routine maintenance, uh, doing the oil, uh, what else? Oil, filters, rotate, that's about it. It's all muddy. And that's about it. Still around the same tires. Uh, had two flats in the last couple months. Uh, I believe it was even the same tire. I don't know for sure, but pretty sure. And um, other than that, that's been about it. Oh, there's a little crawling. Wow. Got it all over the back tire and bumper now. Look at that, just crawled right up that. Well, I don't know if that was in the screen, I wasn't freaking watching. Yeah, grass is getting tall. But I figured it's not worth mowing yet. So, wow. That front battery mod was a 
a pretty good one to do. Look at that. And if I go backwards, I creep this time. It's like it's not even there. You know, it was just the other year here, I have a wood thing out front of my yard, but I never really noticed it. Well, speed! That's the name of the game. Truck's all muddy now. Oh my. Whoa! Oh! Well, it's, well, it's upside down. There's the speed controller on the top side. See the wires running there? And there's where the hitch goes in. And the radio should be on the back side of that plate. And then I moved the battery up to the front there. I had to change around uh, some plastic panels, but that was about it. Um, recovery. Uh, I think the Minion got a little muddy. Well, maybe the maybe his finger there, but the mirror took the brunt of it. I've seen a few guys, they've already snapped the mirrors off on their trucks. Yeah, I can't do that. Yeah, this is already 10 minutes for this section. Might as well go in front of the neighbors here. Right? Some. Oh, well. I'm guessing that's most of the mud. There we go, we're back home. So uh, that's it for today. I know a couple of you guys have been asking for more videos, but I just happen to have a half hour to do something. So there you go. And um, that should be it. So until next time, guys, we'll see ya. And uh, anything you want to share, whatever, just put the comment down below. Down under here somewhere. Under there. <laughs> and until next time, guys, we'll see ya.